Jack Black just found out that the world's not social media. He just canceled all of his tours, maybe broke up Tenacious D. This isn't cancel culture. This isn't cancel culture, right? Cancel culture is when you fire somebody or silence somebody for stepping up against the regime. This dude was celebrating political violence after a dude who represents 80 plus million people was almost blown apart. This dude was promoting political violence. You, you can hold people accountable for promoting political violence. This is Jack Black today. I was blindsided by uh, what was said on the show Sunday. I would never condone hate speech or encourage any political violence in any form, but you did. You guys were laughing about this. You were joking about it. And again, you want to make edgy jokes. You want to be funny. I, listen, I make edgy jokes all the time. But there's ramifications to it. You don't go from joking and laughing and promoting political violence and the assassination of Donald Trump and the murder of Donald Trump supporters. You, you don't go from that and then 12 hours later go, oh, you know what? I messed up. He didn't learn his lesson. What happened was he got fired. He got fired. Cancel culture is when you fire somebody. You got fired. Again, not over something stupid over political threats of violence. He was encouraging violence and assassination. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay to say, fuck you, Jack Black. It's fine. After Jack Black and his band, Tenacious D, celebrated the near assassination of Trump on Saturday, they got about 10,000 calls and texts from all concert venues they booked, canceling their reservations. This isn't cancel culture. You want to make edgy jokes? That's fine. Fuck you, Jack Black. You can't be shocked. When half your audience, 30% of your audience says, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to send money. I'm not going to support a dude who wants me dead. I'm not going to support a dude who wants me dead. How people are conflating this with, with, with bullshit cancel culture is fucking fascinating to me. Got about 10,000 calls and texts from all concert venues they booked, canceling their reservations. So now you, now you, have, now you have gone out there on stage and you have incited and celebrated political violence. And now these venues like, hold on a second, hold on a second, we're going to bring tens and tens and tens of thousands of people to our venue and you've just incited political violence. Boy, this might be dangerous for us. Whoa, hold on there, buddy. I wasn't going to talk until the end of the video, but quick physiognomy check. Yep. That's a faggot. Jack Black doesn't care. Jack Black's rich. Jack Black don't care. But I imagine his roadies care. I imagine all the people around him that set up that stage who aren't rich, I imagine they care. A little communism. You go out and you say stupid shit like this and you celebrate and laugh at political violence. You can't be shocked when those venues go, listen, this is, we can't have you here. An Australian uh, MP was like, dude, we want to deport you now. You're, 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 you're encouraging threats of violence. So no, Jack Black didn't grow a heart. Jack Black's an idiot. Jack Black's a, a rich left-wing goofball cocksucker who wants to continue to make money by just screaming orange man. Jack Black used to be funny when he was hungry. Now he's rich and fucking complacent and lazy and knows that he can just continue to keep these uh, lefty idiots se sending them money by screaming orange man bad. Wow. What Jack Black said must have been very bad to get this free speech warrior, anti-cancel culture disciple of God, so riled up and ready to completely ruin a man's career. What this nigga said was so bad, he needs to be deported. I mean, an Australian politician has never been a complete psychopath. Obviously, a politician threatening to deport a man for the speech is 100% in the right. Jack Black must have said something like, go outside of the Wendy's at 5.15pm on a Sunday with a baseball bat and just cave in Trump's skull, hit him five times over the head, two times in the kneecap, pull out a Glock, and then shoot him 17 times in the back of the skull. So let's see what Jack Black said. Is Trump next time. That's not Jack Black, that's Kyle Grass. Jack Black is right there, you showed it wasn't Jack Black, in your own video, and that is a joke. Get some sleep, have a shave, absolute fucking state of you. <laughs>